On Wednesday, the Menominee Tribe announcing a new partnership with Hard Rock International to open a casino and entertainment complex in Kenosha County. The targeted site, the village of Bristol, which owns the land west of I-94 and approved an option agreement to sell it. The idea of bringing a new casino to the county has been heard before. Kenosha and Hard Rock, which is owned by the Seminole Tribe in Florida, pitched a similar development at the former Dairyland Park site, but then Governor Scott Walker would not approve. On Wednesday, 12 News Media partner Biz Times Milwaukee with new reporting on the effort by Menominee and Hard Rock to try again. Biz Times editor Andrew Weiland on 12 News at 4. Is this now the development you just mentioned further along in the process than we've been before? Yeah, it's, it's a similar project, scaled down it sounds like. The project was dead until now. Now they're looking at a new site um, at I-94, uh, west of I-94 and south of 60th. Um, in Kenosha and they're going to bring this proposal forward and, and see if it flies now. And new tonight, Governor Tony Evers weighing in but stopping short of committing. I'm a long way from a decision on that. Obviously I have uh, approved a uh, uh, casino in Beloit not too long ago so I'm not opposed to doing that but it is a long, long process and I'm not about to take any position at this time. In a statement, a Hard Rock official said the company is supporting the Menominee tribe in its efforts. Meanwhile, this is a long process, as the governor mentioned, which includes the need for a governor's approval. And with the office of governor up for election this year, the project could, Patrick, become one of many campaign mm -hmm. issues because you could either have a reelected Democratic governor or a new Republican governor in office. There'll be some questions on the campaign trail. Derek Rose reporting tonight.